Have you heard of Reloom? It's an AI-based website builder tool that helps you to generate content and even wireframes. In this video, I'm gonna try to use it for a real client project to see what it outputs. So far, I have been pretty hesitant in using AI tools to generate whole websites for client projects because most of the time they take away the most important part of the design process, which is decision making. Because can you really expect AI to come up with a solution that is based on your client needs by just providing a simple text prompt? This is why many of these website builder AI tools generate very generic and boring looking websites. And that's why I haven't jumped on the hype train to testing out all of these tools, because most of the time they skip a lot of the steps in the design process. Because the design process always starts with research, then you need to find content for the pages and need to think about the user experience design, then most of the time there's feedback, then there's a visual design, then there's feedback again, then there's development, and then there's feedback again on the development, and then you get to an end result. So what if there was a tool that helps you to make decisions along the way, and then you can decide whether you want to use those ideas to move to the next step? That is what Reloom AI has done. So that's why I think that this tool is the first one that actually helps you to save time while not taking away your job and delivering very boring, generic, not connected to the client needs websites. Oh, and therefore is also actually worth some money because if you can save hours for each project, then you can just use some budget that you got for the design and just use it for this tool. Okay, so let's take a look on how it works. I'm gonna start in the free version and see how far I can come. On their website, it is a little bit confusing because when you go to reloom.io, you get a lot of different products. The one you wanna be looking for is the AI Site Builder. And this product actually combines a few of the products you see right here. But we're gonna check out the AI Site Builder. And I'm just gonna start with giving it a prompt. The website that I'm gonna try to build here is a portfolio website for a friend of mine that has a film making business. So he makes videos, short form videos, photography, does social media, all of that. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I'm providing it with a prompt now. Let's see what happens when I click generate. Okay, let's skip the video for now. Oh, and now it's already here. But how many pages do I want? That's kind of hard to know because the whole reason I'm using this tool is to give me input on what the content should be. So I don't know how many pages I need. So I don't know about this, giving it a number. I want the tool to tell me. Let's try five pages for now. We have home, we have contact, we have some services. That should be fine. I'm gonna click generate and see what happens. Oh, oh, that's interesting. This is live, by the way, I'm not speeding this up. Okay, so now it has generated a new homepage. There was already a version before, but now there's a new one. Then we have all of these pages. So it did create an about us page. Oh, the three services, it separated it, which is great. Then we have portfolio and projects, and we also have a blog. I'm not really a fan of the blog. I think I can delete that later. So for now, I'm just gonna click on continue generating pages. Oh, you need an account. All right, let's sign up to get an account. Okay, I have logged in and it's now using AI to generate all of these pages. This is real time, by the way. Okay, that is interesting. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can all see what's happening. So this is already helpful. I'm using the free version. I haven't paid for anything, but this already gives me some ideas to know what I should design in Figma. I'm gonna delete something. Let's see if we can edit something. I don't want the blog. I already know my client doesn't want the blog. I'm just gonna delete the whole blog. All right. You know what? Let's see if we can add another page in here and just uh, call it short form content, short form video, and let's click generate. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy right now. Let's now switch to the wireframe and let's see what's happening. Okay, it's gonna start with the homepage. Can we zoom in a little bit? Oh yes, we can. That's interesting. Let's see what's happening. Oh, it also does copywriting as you can see. Captivating video and photo production for the automotive industry. Super interesting. 
and it's still generating text. So I have to be honest, it's pretty cool what you get because this is a great starting point for your design. Of course, it's not the most interesting looking design, but it gets you started on what you can add to the homepage of a website like this. Let's see, we have the portfolio section here. Let's see what we can customize. Oh, you can, for example, change the columns. That is pretty nice. Replace component. Okay, let's click that. Oh, and now we get other suggestions, other designs. So let's say for video, what do we need? Well, I think something like this would be cool. So then you have a video, but you already see the next video coming through. You can navigate right here. I'm gonna find another testimonial design. I think this is good enough for this portfolio website. I know he's not gonna send out a newsletter, so I'm just gonna delete that. And let's see if it also updates inside of the sitemap if we switch back. And yes, it also updated it in the sitemap, which is pretty cool. So we can share this to our clients, but for some reason, I only have one page. Upgrades to view the wireframe. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is where the free plan ends, which is fine. I mean, it's already useful. Maybe sharing one wireframe with your client is not as useful. Of course, you want to have all of the wireframes, but just sharing the sitemap already can be cool. Let's see what happens when I click on share and I'm going to copy this link and open it in incognito. So let's say that I want to send this to my client. Let's see. Okay, they can view the sitemap and then what happens? Okay, the client can also not see that. So that's not really a nice experience. I would say maybe add a feature where you can just share the sitemap with your client on the free plan because sharing this looks a little bit unprofessional. I really wanna see the other wireframe, so I'm gonna upgrade right now. But before we do that, I quickly wanna go to the pricing page because it's not only wireframes that you're gonna get with the pro plan. On the free plan, you can actually only have one project. On the starter plan, you can have three projects. It's still not great. I would love this to be more. So this package just makes a lot more sense pro. I just think that providing three projects make the starter plan really unappealing. So it feels like you're forced to go to the pro and it looks like a lot of money. But honestly, if I would design multiple projects per month and this would save me hours, then this is already worth the price. Let's say that you're asking $50 per hour to your client for a design and, and you tell your client that the design is gonna take 10 hours. Well, normally you would take like three or four hours to come up with all the content and create all of these wireframes. So, so it can definitely be worth the investment. By the way, if you wanna check out the pricing page, then click on the link in the description. The first one, that is an affiliate link. I do get a commission when you guys buy via my link, but it's not a sponsored video, okay? I just wanted to create this video because I think it's a great tool. And honestly, I'm gonna try really hard to push this into my workflow the same way with ChatGPT4, which I also have a subscription on right now. I'm starting to get into the habit of paying for AI tools that can actually save me a lot of time because time is money at the end of the day. Okay, let's get back. I wanna upgrade and let's see. Uh, yes, let me upgrade. Oh, there is a trial for seven days, as you can see. So that is nice. You can just test it. Okay, I just paid. And now it should show us all the wireframes. And as you can see, it's now generating all the copy. So once you pay, then it starts generating everything. It's pretty cool to see. This is live, by the way, I'm not speeding this up. Okay, so now it's done. I think it took like 30 seconds to generate all of these pages. So that is great. Let's take a look because we have the home page and then we have three services pages and some portfolio pages. I'm gonna zoom in and see. Okay, the about, let's see. Mm -hmm. Industry award recognition. Yeah, this client doesn't really have that. So let's see if we can also easily customize that with like a client list, maybe something like this. That will be better. Okay, as you can see, we can also easily change up the design. What is this? The services page. Okay, so it has the three services. The process, that's a cool one. I think that should be part of portfolio websites in general. So really cool that they have this. An FAQ. Okay, that looks good. Let's now go to the first services page. So this is, this is a services page. I have to say though, it does look a little bit the same as the main services page. So in terms of hierarchy, I do wanna change this. So that is very clear that this is a page under this page. 
So what I would then do for this kind of design is that I would pick one of these three styles and then apply that to all of the services pages so that the user knows that this is a page that is similar to the other pages. Let's see if we can copy actually, and then just paste it over here. Let's try if I can use my command. I actually can. Okay, so that's pretty easy. I can just copy and paste over here. Let's see, delete. I think I do want to start with this one as well. So we can just copy it and paste it. And there we create some structure inside of the website, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we have our four services pages, which start out the same and then become a little bit different. Uh, what is this page? The portfolio page. Okay, it only has two items. Then it has the services again, two call to actions. That doesn't look that good. But as you can see, you can just customize it in the way you want. And then we have the project. Okay, so that is inside of a project when you click on one of these tiles. And then it has more information about the project. Of course, I do want to have like a big video here on the top. So let's see if we can easily add a video section like that. Let's try to search for video and let's see. Okay, it doesn't show me any videos. Mm. Okay, so this would be a little bit better. Let's insert that and delete this one. Okay, so this works a little bit better for our video website. And can we also generate an extra page? Because a video portfolio page will be different from a photography portfolio page. Let's see what we can do. Can we generate that again? How does it work? Generate page 10. Photography portfolio item. Let's see. I'm just going to use the copy that I already had for my website. Okay, so it did create an extra page because this is what design is all about, right? You create something and then you're like, wait, but this client needs this. That's why I don't like these all-in-one solutions that says like one prompt and here's your website. It doesn't work like that. For example, with this one, we have two different kind of portfolio projects that will be two different single post templates. If you're working with Elementor, then you know what I'm talking about. It takes a lot of going back and forth in order to get to a point where you're happy. But now this is already a little bit better, but I just do want to have a gallery like this that has all of the photos for this project. So let's see what we can do. Something like this. That would be great. Can I move this one up? Can I drag it? Oh, I can also drag it easily. That is great. So now what we have is we have an introduction with one header photo, a little bit of text about the project, and then a gallery about this photography uh, portfolio item uh, reviews there's not review on every single post uh, call to action that's fine and then the end perfect okay so now if we share this to the client let's see if they can also view it okay we still have the sitemap and then we go to the wireframe and the client can also check the wireframe pretty cool so this did take me like 10 minutes to play around a little bit and already adjust a few things because i know what this client wants so that's why you first always need to talk to your client and be like hey what do you want what are the services that you provide and how is your company different from other companies so you have some information to actually change the wireframes and then you can get a happy client and get an agreement on the wireframes and when you have that then you should go to figma let's try it because they do have an export to figma feature i'm gonna click on it and i see that i need to install the plugin the reloom library figma plugin okay let's open figma and go to manage plugins and i'm gonna try to search for reloom library there it is we're gonna run it and now we need to log in obviously so let's do that Oh, we were already logged in. It noticed that, which is great. And now we can go back to Figma and there it does it. Great. Oh, untitled project. I didn't title that, but let's try to import that. Primary sitemap, add wireframe. Let's click on add the wireframe to the canvas. Oh, and now it's going to add everything here. Don't close this window. What is, what is happening here, guys? I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's still generating. Oh, oh, it's doing everything in the background. I already had one project open, so it's now doing that on top of my project. I don't know what's going on. This will take a while. I will keep my hands off the keyboard. Okay, it looks like it's done. This took like two or three minutes. It took quite a while. Uh, it doesn't say close this window anymore, so now I'm gonna close it. There's still my original artboard is still in the background here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Let's drag it out. 
and let's delete that. This is now just a new project. Okay, what did it do? It created a massive group with all of the wireframes in it, converted to Figma and also mobile designs. That is pretty useful. Um, let's see if it's actually built in a smart way. All right, so it looks like, yes, it's built with auto layout so that it's easy to change. Let's see if inside is also uh, built with auto layouts. Yes, as you can see, it works really well. I would have preferred if they would have transformed it into uh, frames, because right now we don't really have the artboard or frames. We need to create them ourselves. But now we have all of this. Okay, is this useful? Because let's say that your client is happy with the wireframes that you sent him via the link, not via Figma. Then now you need to start with the visual design. And I have seen in some other videos that it does have some global styling. But from what I can see right now, it only has three colors, which is not enough. It does have the headings though, which is really nice. So we're going to change the heading one to another font. And that looks absolutely ugly. <laughs> Let me change it to something else. But as you can see, it does work. So that is pretty cool. So now on these two pages, we do have a different font. So let's say that we want to change the background in this. We can, of course, just change it to another color. So let's say that our color palette has a soft brown like this. Then I can just add it to the global colors. And now I can apply that same background to other sections. Okay, so I can start working from here if I want to, to create the visual design. I think I'm just gonna play around with this. I think it's worth enough to just keep paying and try a few projects with this. Let's see how much hours you can save. I think I'm gonna make an update video in the future to show you guys if I actually still use this tool. Of course, after this, you still need to rebuild it in the tool that you use. I use Elementor, but they do have an export to Webflow feature. So if you are a Webflow user, then they do have that which is actually even more crazy. You could just export it to Webflow and then in your Webflow account, open it. And then it's all inside of your Webflow account, even responsive from what I've seen. So it's built in a very smart way. So I am of course always critical to these kinds of tools as you can see, but like I said, for most of these tools, I don't even make videos about them because I think they're just destroying the whole workflow. This one doesn't, it helps you to move faster, but it still gives you the power to make decisions, which is what design is all about. Only designers that only had visual design tools, they will be the ones who will lose their jobs because AI is just much better at those simple tasks. But talking to clients, making decisions, doing your research and creating something unique, something handmade that companies are willing to pay for, that is something that AI can never do because so far AI is generating generic things. And even, even if you use this and you add all of the colors and the typography and you make it look pretty, it's still a pretty blocky design. You still need to go in and make it more creative. This is already a lot better than most beginner websites out there, but that's not my point. I'm not talking to beginners in this video this is more for the people that already have a working workflow and want to improve it i think this is an amazing tool i think for the money yes it's not the most cheapest ai product but i think it can save you a few hours even if you don't even use the export to figma and you just start with the visual design in figma you you just use this feature for all of the wireframes and then once your client is happy you just start right from the design uh, the visual design in figma that could also be a workflow because maybe changing all of these templates is more work than rebuilding it i'm not really sure that's why i want to test it but i think it's worth Worth trying for this price per month you can of course also pay yearly which is always a bit cheaper but with tools like this I would really advise you to do it on a monthly package so that you can try it for three months and then worst case scenario you lose $150 for testing out something that can potentially save you hours okay if you do want to take that step please use the affiliate link in the description because that's the reason I'm able to create these videos it helps a lot, so thank you for your support. For now, let me know what you think in the comments below, and then hopefully I will see you in the next video.